Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Beefcake Lynch. Play some game. All right, going into the Night of the Dead, or actually just Night of the Dead. Um, it's a game on uh, Steam right now. Really cool, actually. Zombie survival game. It's like Seven Days to Die and Ark, kind of all combined into one, but with a lot better graphics. Um, there are some nuances, some quirks to it. And it is one of those games that's like, hey, we're still rele we're releasing it, but we're still working on it, so it may not be super awesome, and there may be updates and all this crap. But here, pay us full money for it. It is one of those games, and so so I have started playing it a little bit. Um, I did a multiplayer game, or hosted a server, hosted an online game, so that I can kind of control it, explore the game a little bit, and not have people just trying to raid me and stuff all the time. Um, so I'm going to load this game up, but here's one of the things I was ta talking about. So this is my last multiplayer game um, that I have, uh, anyway, saved, saved the files on. And right before I started the game, I had to update it or let it update. And now it's like, save files, different versions. Errors can occur. Want to load it? And it's like, well, holy crap, man. You're still developing the game. But yet, if I play the game and save any of my progress, you're saying that, hey, some of that stuff may not ever work again because we're still building the game, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to hit yes, and we'll see what happens. Bow in one hand, knife in the other. Won't be able to shoot an arrow. All right. Right, it looks like no it looks like this worked out okay so all right so we can do this let's see and I do have I do have one person helping me out in the game because um, zombie games are scary to me actually and so we're gonna see how this works out I think we're all in there okay Sorry, I had to get my bearings going here because it's been a little, uh, uh, like a week or so trying to play this game. I actually have another uh, YouTube channel, um, Team Lynch Spirit of Adventure, doing a bunch of van life stuff. And did a couple of these um, trips and yeah, haven't had time to get back in this game. But now I'm back in here and everything was good. So what I ended up doing... stuff is busted up what happened so what I ended up doing is I know um, so we're building walls and stuff um, for those of you who have not played this game a whole heck of a lot um, there's little towns and crap like this um, your maps pretty useless um, if, if you haven't explored these parts of the map but um, but basically, you know, you have towns, houses, like buildings and crap like that that you can kind of explore. Um, you can build things. Um, you can see, um, for the uh, point of this game, I've actually taken this house. And there's a couple houses, actually, through here. Um, some have already have gates and stuff like that. So what I've elected to try to do is um, wall off this yard here kind of cool um, so yeah wall this off as I have with some shooting windows and because what I noticed was that you can break down almost everything in this game and so like you know my quick selection number four there I have this axe right so you can like just bust up stuff but there's certain things you can't bust up and get materials from so just like an arc or anything like that I can slice trees and get wood and make stuff but like this little white fence right here Look how epic, like this thing is like OP power. You cannot bust this white this white fence. So the zombies can't bust it either though. Um, cars and stuff, I'm pretty sure, you, yeah, you can't bust them and get stuff from them. You can search them like in Seven Days to Die and get materials and break down stuff from them, but that's about it. And so I, I got the, the idea that I could even put in um, interior walls like this. These are technically interior walls. Um, cause I didn't know I was still exploring the game. I didn't know there were like outside walls and crap you could build, but I figured I was like, Oh, let me be real tricky. I'm going to put this stuff. Um, but I heard it's Ambi. Um, I'm going to put, um, these walls on the inside of this little guy and the zombies won't be able to get through. And if I recall correctly, yeah, I think we did have a swarm that tore down some of the wall, but yeah, they couldn't get through. They just had this opening right here, which I had a big gate on. So Actually, let me see if I can let's build some stuff like it's trying to tell me to do so we have a wall yeah so you have like these kind of walls and this is what I built 
Do you have a lot of stuff? I don't know why you'd want to do decorations. I guess some people get super cool about that. But, um, like, wanting this to put their own flair on their zombie hideout. But for me, I'm like, I don't know if that's even necessary. Um, yeah, research table. I think that's what I was... No, I did build that. Okay, let me, let me exit out of that. Let me get back in here. Yeah, there's my research table. So, you end up getting, like, research um, material when you break stuff down. Um, I've actually not used it yet. So, um, let me see here. Yeah, so it's the way you kind of, it's like the, the technology tree you see, like, in um, Age of Empires or um, Sid Meier's Civilization, stuff like that. That, yep, yeah, you do this to get my out, to get my out, um, my out leads on some other stuff you have combatant type of still skill goes to marine assault soldier martial artist so yeah these are pretty cool and i have not explored them yet the way that you you kind of get them is um you break stuff down so you, you go out this is actually a really cool house i like this house i think i've kind of scavenged scavenged yeah scavenged um, almost everything around y'all do a little running you'll find like little boxes and stuff laying around and you'll notice too that on all those little box areas, I thought I had like a flat. Oh, there we go. Um, so scary. Yeah, you end up having like little boxes and stuff, um, and you'll start to realize that those are spawn locations for um, other players. So yeah, you break stuff like that down. Research material too, and a piece of cloth. Worthless. No, it's actually. I, I guess they're good. So let me go check that out. Let me see what it's about. My my game partner there actually likes to do a lot of farming as far as like just getting materials and um, food and stuff like that. So I said, hey, if you really like doing that stuff and just oh, look, pile it up right there in the middle. If you really like doing that stuff, yeah, cool. Join my game and, and uh, help get some stuff for me. So let's start using this research material. Natural human manure that supplies nutrients to the soil can be made on the crafting table. All right, farmer. Fertilizer that supplies essential nutrients to the soil. Made at the crafting table. Do I have to do something? I don't, I don't get it. How do I... How do I... Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Got a zombie. So the weird thing about these zombies is that they tend to run away from you. And believe it or not, the best thing to use for the zombies is actually this knife. So you saw I was using my axe, right? Dude was like, as I'm like rearing back, he's like, wakak, wakak. Hitting me, but then you hit him with a knife and like you doing it to him. You're so fast that he's like trying to do a zombie like and you like slitting him in the throat and stuff. And so he can't get to you, but it's pretty janky. Oh, wait, that's not the zombie. I'm by the cooking bench. So yeah, you can, um, I thought you could raid these zombies, but maybe not. But, um, yeah, so that's that. Looks like I need to heal myself. So go into my inventory and, um, Get some roasted bird going. So let me go back here. And so I guess all these that are lit up, you can, yeah, you can research them. That's so cool. And then it allows you to make the stuff. Oh, I get it now. Roasted meat. Yeah, I want all that. This is making me want to get some more stiff. Trap machine. Maintenance kit of battery. Oh, I like all this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I feel like building, building a way for this guy not be able to come in here. So I need some more nails. I need an iron plate. Okay. 
nails and an iron plate, so I gotta go make that. Oh, and you can upgrade your, your benches. So this is a material bench, and I have it upgraded to level two. So when you first start out, you just have that guy, then you get this guy, and then you unlock it all the way. Yeah, there you go. You need an upgrade. So let's see, where do I build the nails and stuff? Yeah, and you also need some, so I gotta go. I just gotta go out and just scavenge some stuff. Maybe I have stuff here too. I don't know. Tried using the, uh, I tried getting a box going, but this game is kind of weird when it comes to that stuff. Let's see what we have in here. That's some stuff, not what I'm looking for. I also have this room, which is the garage. So they got a pretty cool house. But I need to go out and scavenge more stuff. So let's do that. And you don't always know or understand what you can hit. Not everything actually yields a resource, which is kind of weird. It's like this stuff will. You can just, you just like jack up the plant. You get leaves and tree branches. Uh oh. Heard a zombie. I don't know, part of me almost feels like maybe I messed up. Maybe I should have got one of these houses with the big old walls. You don't have to look at the zombies. But I'm like, if the little, if this like little guardrail right here can make the zombies not like go get through to you, why even do the big wall? Just find like a little pit, white picket fence type of setup. And it's fine. So let me chop down some trees. Okay, let me get a little back. There we go. Like I said, little quirks with the game. It's still pretty fun, though. Got some logs. So I can find me a car. Break it down. Yeah, you get nothing. You can try a hammer. Because I'm making sparks. Maybe it does, like, break down. Anyway, so another element to this game is if you see the skull and crossbones in the upper right hand corner, um, you actually do, that's like the countdown clock, so it's like, yeah, we've had two, I guess, um, of these like waves or hordes or whatever, and we're like, so they come every 24 hours, so we're six hours in, and of course like, you know, oh, look at all those zombies in there. Look at all that zombie. And they're just in there. But if you're thinking like, isn't that cool though that there's zombies in there and like locked in there? Yeah, they, they actually can't get out because you, you also can't break down the houses, the walls or anything, which means the zombies can't either. So I don't know, it's just, it's kind of a unique situation in my mind. Red mushrooms for poison. Let's harvest some stuff. If they could take all. Oh, move. these things you can break down into metal or thing I can't remember yeah piece of iron you can br break those things down iron break them down oh got an iron ingot oh that's special Staring at me. 
gonna run back because I'm a wimp. Crap. So if I run and my stamina, my little heart thing's down, it starts draining my health. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm not getting anything from that either. It's weird. So let's go build these nails that I need to finish this gate. Why is that a demolish? Oh, because I'm holding a hammer. Yeah, another th weird thing too is that I didn't realize like the hammer when you read the description, like when you're trying to like build equipment and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's really weird because um, the hammer is used to like repair things and do stuff, but like if you're holding it and you stand next to like a wall, like you no longer have the repair options, it's just demolish. It's kind of weird. Like I don't know, hammers can do more than that. Right, so, oh yeah, we're doing a nail, so we're going to craft one of those. And I don't think I can make a piece of cloth. I need to upgrade that. No. Here's what I mean, claw hammer, used for, hammer for destroying buildings. Yeah, I guess, yeah. And there's nothing here for, like, a crowbar. I was thinking maybe there's a crowbar or something that... That might be used to like um, yeah, jack stuff up, but um, no. Oh, can I make this? I can make a sword? Two-handed sword? I already have the one-handed axe. See, right now my knife does seven damage, but it weighs five, which is pretty awesome. It weighs ten. I don't know. Maybe I should try to make this thing. What is this? So it's going to use all my rubber. Just one of my ingots. Okay, I don't even want to make this thing. Let's do that. Let's get my lucky number seven weapon. Yeah, I like that. Actually, can I, can I do this? No. Alright. Fine. Can I, can I do that? Nope. Can't do that either, so... Put you back there. Alright. And I'm pretty sure... Let me test out this sword. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Oh, yeah, I want to wreck something with this. So many zombies in this other house. Oh, gotta get that research material. And you can see it's a grind to get research material. You get like, like one to five at a time, depending what you break down. It is not an easy process. And I think you saw, like, to upgrade some of the things, it's like 95 pieces of research material, you know, to get, like, one, you know, thing to update or... Oh. Oh, oh look at these guys. Look at this guy walking towards me like he's a... <laughs> he's all casual. Watch this. Wow! So it takes three hits of the sword. Ooh, wow, his head's just doing some kind of dance. All right, so that's not too bad. The sword's actually pretty legit. That guy's got his shirt off, so I think he's probably more of a badass. Let me see. Oh, and they do that too. They run off on you. Oh, so they can do their super move. car is like mint. You think you could drive it, but no, you cannot. You could break this guy with a knife, though. See, it takes all the doors off. Piece of plastic, piece of cloth, piece of iron. Mm. Uh-oh. Oh. That's you're getting tore up. He's trying to jump that 
an indestructible picket fence. That's what you're trying to do. You know, you can't do these things in this game. You cannot break down 20 mile speed limit road signs for materials. You can only break down this 1999 Mitsubishi Gallant. And I am shitting you not. Look up Mitsubishi Gallant. Like from the 90s. That's what this car is. I am just noticing that. Oh my gosh. My friends had an... Oh yes. This is a Mitsubishi Gallant. Look it up. Call me a liar. Promise you I'm not. And it's apparently a very popular car in, in Zombie Town. Oh, he's a military dude. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Okay. About to whack this fool. Oh, crap. Any day do you want to help? Great. Just get my ass handed to me by this fool. Got a rubber ring and a piece of cloth for my treble. And yes, you can hit multiple zombies, like if they're all standing there in a row and you have like a, a sword like this, it will hit both. And you you can, uh oh. Yeah, you can interrupt their attacks and their runs too, like that. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. So, um, so yeah, if they're running at you, yeah, you can like bust them up and like tell them like, not today, Satan. And they can do the same to you, apparently. And we just like right. Oh, look, they're just like, they're just like coming now. They're like, like you got Mr. Um, was he wearing a Henley shirt? I don't know. Yeah, get some fool. And yes, in this game, you can see my game partner shooting these arrows at this at the zombie. But um, you do run. Oh crap! We got a crawler, dude. What the? Okay. So, just like in, um, I think it's Ark and other research trailers drop. What? Anyway, um, just like in Ark and some of those other games, your bed is also your respawn, so you have to, or seven days to die, um, you have to lay down a bedroll or something in your house or else it will respawn you like exactly where you're at, um, where you started the game at, I should say. Don't grab my stuff. You look at it first, though. You can't just look at it first. In the It'll game. tell you oh. before take all. I'm doing it right now. You okay. thieving? Okay. You thieving nothing? This sword's pretty good, but I don't know. I would like. I, I would like it if it's faster, but I guess I have to research that those upgrades. Okay, I'm just getting left here. But because she scurred. Let's see if I can find some more research material. Eventually, yes, I'm going to have to make um, some kind of a door or something or um, what I had done in the last two um, hordes is just get on the stairway right here and just create a bottleneck and just start whacking them. Uh, it's worked pretty well. Yeah, but um, just so you know, like, so if you have a house and you have furniture like this and you don't like it, you are not getting rid of it. Like, everything in this game that you cannot salvage is totally indestructible. Like, oh, I didn't get any food. I came here for food. It is totally indestructible. Yeah, your condition does um, improve as you're using it to like run around and crap but like but yeah 
once it goes away, that yellow orange heart bar. Man, those zombies are crazy in that house. Um, it does eat up your health, and um, and as you, I don't know if it's aging or that muscle like white bar. Like I guess when that starts to go down, as well, it makes everything kind of not be able to charge back up to its maximum, and so yeah, so you're kind of encouraged to like keep all that stuff monitored. Um, yeah, the good thing is that you don't necessarily have, like in um, Seven Days to Die, you have to like you don't have to constantly. Um, oh, oh dear, you're being chased by a wolf. Oh, we got them all. Let's skin this fool. Got the intestine, I got the bones, I got the fat. The reason why it's so important to different animals you get is that different animal bones and hides are used to create and craft different things, believe it or not. Like, not all leather is created equal. You just, you cannot assume that crap. <laughs> uh, looks like the fox has been harvested, as we say. And when you're a hunter, you harvest it. So what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was trying to some of this. Oh, and it will let me. So that's the other thing too. Is it? Yeah. See, I have a this pickaxe, and this rock, this big old rock, is not something I can pickaxe. Weird. Super weird stuff. This one probably. Yep. The big rocks you can't mine. They're just you know. This game, you can't make big rocks into little rocks. Unless they're preordained to be little rocks eventually. Oh, I got gunpowder from that. Oh, how about that? Too bad I can't mine this entire freaking thing for gunpowder. Gotta stick these little guys. But again, like, the scavenging in this is just... It's not as... I mean, I know they're still developing the game. It's just, it's not as cool as you would want it to be. Like, you just cannot scavenge whatever you want. Like, So we are about 14 hours away. So we added five hours of gameplay right now. In-game, game time, I mean. Um, yeah. Getting kind of anxious about not having this gate up getting kind of anxious about how much of a wimp this dude is that I can't even like run all that much. I gotta get more research material. Like I almost feel like with the indestructible nature of things, unless you have zombies that spit at you, that, um, like, man, just put stairway up onto that platform and they can't like break down the sign or get to you, but I don't know, maybe it's too simple. Maybe I haven't played the game enough. Maybe there is, um, there are zombies that throw like arrows and stupid crap at you or spit stuff or um i know there are some special zombies um you just saw we killed one that like caught on fire and blew up and we respawned we're still on fire which is kind of weird but um so i don't know there are special zombies they do exist in here so i don't know maybe that is a thing oh made that thing the bomb see where she is at. She apparently needs help. Oh, oh, yep, sure does. Skin this fool. How big he is. Oh, he just disappears. Good meat. <laughs> Bear skin. Bare bones and animal fat and large meat. Large meat. 
<laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Let's go do this. Let's go build my wall. My door wall. Just inside. Yeah, and then I can just connect these walls that I don't need to do because I know. Yeah, so I need wooden planks and lumber and rope. But I keep thinking to myself that, you know, this stuff, these walls are going to come in handy one day. They're going to come in handy because. Like, some, like, monster is going to try to, like, spit, like, some kind of spooge at us. And we're going to need, like, these walls. I just know it. Eventually these will pay off. But yeah, you just kind of slap them together like this. Boom. Now, you can, um, the, the, the high-low is basically, oh, 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 yeah, if you want to. Lower, raise the elevation so you have one one wall kind of stack up high, and you can stack stuff. Now I had I did try to play around with the physics of this, and I try to like see if I could put walls up like this, and then immediately like um, like I don't know create like floating floors off the walls. So I tried to come in here and like do I don't know like a floor, it's like a regular floor, build it and put it on there and so you can do that but what it won't do is it won't let you extend them out and just have like this floating floor you know that's kind of popular yeah like on this side I don't even put any walls up and like it seems like it's so open like this would totally be an entryway into like whatever but seriously like when I was when I my first time playing the game and establishing this base um, yeah like the zombies they couldn't get in over there. We had like that that floor up on top, so we're, we're like, and, and right here, this platform, we're shooting arrows at them and stuff like that. And like, yeah, see if you notice, like the wall right in front of this picket fence, it got torn down because they're like hitting it. Um, yeah, it's like this wall is all jacked up. Um, this platform is almost all jacked up. But yeah, they're hitting it, but they couldn't actually get to us. And they weren't getting through the door because we were pegging them with arrows and hitting them. And so they were legit running around the house trying to find a way in. And they were running past this. And like, yeah, like every once in a while they'd hit a wall like this. But they wouldn't do anything. They actually couldn't get in. And they would actually run all the way around the house. Um, that wall over there. Oh, I can't even jump this thing. Cause the, yeah, the jump kind of sucks too. But I guess that's a skill you can upgrade. And yeah, so they, they ended up running this part of the wall and they would kind of just clip through it and so we started just like hitting them through the wall and yeah it killed them it was fine but it doesn't seem to matter if like see I ended up having to put these janky walls right here too just to kind of do whatever but it didn't seem to matter if like they couldn't see us because at least when it came to like the wave at the end of the night um, they just they still come for you it should be. you can see this guy out there it's like at one of these I call him a titan. That's what they were called. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. He's just flexing, copying him. But that guy is like a big zombie. It's like all kind of special. And um, I call them titans, but I think that's what they were called in Seven Days to Die. Or maybe I just called them that in Seven Days to Die as well. But, um, but yeah. They're super powerful. Another thing, too, about this game is kind of, it kind of annoys you a little bit is that you see this B equipment table. Like, I already created all that stuff. So, I didn't follow this tutorial that's trying to like get you to build a hammer and I was just like scavenging stuff. You know how to play these games, like you'll just start oh there. Um, you'll start scavenging stuff and just building stuff because you know how to do it, you kinda know how these games work. And yeah, even though I have an equipment table in my house, like it's still saying, No, 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 you gotta follow the tutorial, bro, you gotta make another one and we'll give you like reward of whatever that reward is. And I'm just like that is like so redonkulous that I would have to do that. There's a whole car in there. And if you're wondering, the answer is no. You cannot um, cannot open up garage doors. Gotcha, fool.
Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, the game's cool, but, like, the limitation on scavenging, or, it really does start to kind of... It just... I don't know. I need some I need some steel, and there's, like, all these Mitsubishi Galants I'm passing that I just cannot use for my steel. Let me see if I, if I can mine ingots. Maybe it's just all has to be mined. I don't know. Boulder, stone, limestone. So no. And that get it there. Oh, she scared me. It sucks too. You can hear footsteps like they're your own, but they're really not. You got a zombie coming at you. Oh, not the pickaxe's ass, though. Oh, damn it. He, like, flailed away. Really? Yeah, I'm still gonna pickaxe you. Okay, maybe not. Let me get his sword out. Well, oh, cut the head off. Oh, re really? It's cool, I got it, bro. old drunk fool. Oh, bring it. Bring it. I like that sneaky. Vending machines over there. I wonder what you... Oh, I got an iron plate. That's exactly what I was needing. Oh, they're indestructible. Oh yeah, here's some metal. Oh, got some copper wire, man, get some good stuff. And of course that e elusive research material, get one per car. I am sure when I upgrade or research my scavenging ability I'll get more ability to grab more research with every scavenge but it's kind of a I don't know kind of booty that it would even be like that here went to the right as well but oh you're attracting the other one too fine I got your back though oh yeah you domed him zombies inside this convenience store. Like all here is like plop, 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 steps everywhere. There's like a zombie trying to bust out of this thing in here. I think he's trying to bust through this door. Definitely trying to bust through the door. Man, she like rolled up and like flexed on me. 
she did like a Gandalf, you shall not pass. And then I sorted her and it was fine. Man, these guys, let's look at these guys in the convenience store. Let me see these guys. Because you know they can't bust stuff. Which actually takes away from some of the scariness of the game. Because I know they will, the only way he can get out of there is if he breaks, um, if he opens the door. Might be able to break this glass though. Wait a second, it said repair. Oh, so doors do have HP and. Yeah, so this thing's at 95, 90. So yeah, it does. Wish I can clip them too. weird you can't really shoot through the glass or anything well, I'd slice the dude's head off it was so weird I like I was like in here like it does affect if you're using a sword or something it does affect like how you how you swing so let me use this like battle axe I got and see what happens. so far about breaking these cars down is you can get iron plates without having to make them out of iron ingots. It's kind of weird that you don't get iron plates off of every car because you think you'd be able to pull off panels off of almost every Mitsubishi Galant in this parking lot that you're breaking down. Actually some of these aren't. They're like they look like Mazda CX-5s or something <laughs> like the, the SUV but um, yeah. And we are getting real close to the Horde time. And I don't know if maybe that top number, the two, you know, next to the skull and crossbones in the upper right, maybe if it's like real big, I don't know that it, I don't know. Maybe that means something. Can I upgrade this yet? I can't remember. Oh, I can. Look at that. Okay. Does not receive damage from flames. Like, cool. Okay, now what's this upgrade? Okay, I need iron wire, rebar, and nails. This, three nails. Another thing about this game is kind of weird is if your inventory is full, and maybe it'll show you what I mean. So that's a nail. I just made three nails. This is the inventory slot that I freed up by eating this meat. And even though I freed it up. The three nails didn't go into the empty inventory slot. Instead, they stacked on top of the other two nails I had. But for some reason, the game will not let you create more stuff and stack it on the existing nails or whatever you have, herbs, whatever, if it sees that your inventory is full. You have to actually drop something and then you can pick it right back up. It's the most redonkulous thing um, ever. But let's, the plank is going to say inventory is full. But I have a wood plank right there, right there in my inventory. I have a wood plank, and if you just and if I make another wood plank, it will stack it on top of that wood plank, so long as I have an inventory slot free, which is really really strange. 
So anyway, this is why there's a big stack of stuff here in the middle of the living room because it's kind of the only way you can get rid of stuff. Um, before, um, well, you I mean you got to have? Um, oh, we got a lot of cloth too. Where's some of this? Um, and you can build storage boxes, and I'll, I'll ship great how much you can carry. But until you do that, this is the way you manage your inventory. You just have to drop stuff, and it kind of sucks. I'm noticing that usually when you look out over the horizon like this, you can you can sometimes see the other people in your game. And this is like a private game. I'm hosting it. And yeah, like if my, in this case, the person playing with me, if they're not in proximity, you can't see their gamer tag or their username anymore until they're like within a certain distance of you, which, I don't know, kind of weird. So I guess maybe the idea is that you're supposed to scavenge from within the houses because I have noticed that you find boxes that say find on them and there's like just a, a cache of things because again if you're you know if you've been paying attention you can't oh wow they got like one of those low zombies you can't actually break down anything in here so like like this zombie He's going to try to get through this door. But that's the only way he can get out is if he breaks that door. Everything else in that house he cannot break. Yeah, like, bro, you can't even break, a, like, a, a sliding window like that. And it's so weird. Got to scan the perimeter. And no... The jankiness or the jitteriness of the scan is not my frame rates or my stream. It's, it's my janky right hand on the mouse. <laughs> it's doing it. So let's see. Yep, no zombies. Cleared this area out pretty good. And I'll say the first two zombie hordes that um, that I played through, like they were pretty mild. Um, you kind of had to understand where they're coming from, and they do kind of just run out of nowhere. Kind of like Seven Days Seven Days to Die, they come from generally one direction. They kind of run at you, and um, and I think I mentioned earlier in the video uh, or in this live stream that um, sometimes they'll run right around the fence to try to get to you, and they can't bust that fence. Um, they did that too. There's one stream where they came from like behind the house, and they had, and I had to watch them just it was pathetic like run all the way down the side of the picket fence just to come here to like start banging on the door and then we're just like plugging them with like arrows and stuff um it's kind of weird oh did that just do it did i just did i just break the game oh i did it the zombies cannot get us they cannot well they can but what we all we would have to do, in theory, I'm thinking, if I demolish these stairs, no zombies can get us. And I did it right at the wave start, and there we go. <laughs> Oh, I got ninja stars. Let me do some ninja star action. <laughs> Holding a ninja star in my hand. Look at this. So epic. Ninja star, baby. Okay, let's see. I don't see any of the zombies yet. I wonder if it's because of the Ah. No, I, I doubt it. You better be able to build some stairs. I got enough to build stairs, so I can I can Fortnite some stairs together if we need to. Actually, let me do that right now. Oh, there they are. Like me. Now one's like in front of our door. Oh, see, she's running down our fence line. Where'd she go? 
Short oh yeah, she just like running back and forth. There's another one. Now we got two. Oh man, my stuff's getting like clipped. It's like not hitting them. I used up all of my ninja stars, not even hitting one of them. Get upstairs. Oh, here am I. Yeah. Get up here. Oh crap, where'd this guy come from behind us? Nah. It knocked me down. Oh, damn, I'm dead. You're in our bedroom, you're in our spawn. Cutting heads off. I'm knocking them off, too. That dude ran across the gap. Yeah, that one, too.
and he's standing on our table down there. I'm dead too. Right. Oh, we're gonna get him. Right here. I let him surround you. We hold them here. <laughs> when they gang up on you, it's tough. They're all running after you right now. Well, some of them were, and then I got the rest. Oh, man, they killed me quick. I got revenge on some of them. Yeah, I think I gotta go back to the knife. Lost my sword. Let me get my sword. Is this it? Yeah. Now I'm gonna go. Oh man, I got like low health and stuff. <laughs> yeah, one one last hit for good measure. Okay. That guy's stuck. Let's get some food. You got him. So anyway, it's kind of the whole game right there. Um, you survive some. Yeah, I gotta get my materials. Um, you survive a bunch of hordes like this. They kind of just come at you like crazy. And as you can see, I think if I go back over to the research table, yep, I sure did. As you die, you actually lose some of these things that you upgraded, which, um, I'll be honest with you, kind of sucks. So let's get some of this stuff back. Oh, it looks like it's cheaper to get it. 
though. But so um, yeah, that was a horde. We survived it. So now we have three days down and there are three hours towards the next one. Yeah, so I guess what it is is that for every day that you survive, it's just worse and worse and worse and worse because that was by far the worst um, wave. It's the first time I've actually died doing it. Um, the other two waves, I was able just to kind of... Um, um, yeah, the other wave, I was able to just kind of... Um, kind of just futz around, you know, and... Um, get them into like a, a bottleneck like at the stairs and not oh crap not at these stairs man this guy sucks man he's he, like everything hurts him but um yeah i was able just to stand right here and just beat down all the the zombies or better yet um i think the second wave um i actually stood here and then they were falling off and it was really easy to control them but yeah this time man it was kind of crazy but as as you saw like like, after you die and you respawn, they kind of forget that you're there, even though they're still in the same room with you, in this case, anyway. They got into the house and all that stuff. Um, I don't know. And since you can't bust out the walls, you can't, um, yeah, the door's kind of the only thing that you can mess with. Um, you can't really snipe them from these uh, windows or anything. You can't bust them out. Like, it would have been cool to be able to, like, go to the garage, and as we're pouring through here, like, set some traps up. Oh, you can't set traps up. But set some traps up and then be able to like just snipe them with like ninja stars and stuff. Speaking of ninja stars, I'm going to get my ninja stars from this wall. Um, but yeah, so some of the clipping on this is is really booty and, and really disappointing. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to get my ninja stars back as I was trying to shoot ninja stars at the zombies on the other side of this wall that I'm walking next to. Um, I couldn't like because I was on one side of the wall it would not let me shoot the ninja stars even though I'm aimed directly at the zombies um, it was not hitting those those zombies it was kind of weird so um so now I'm gonna see if the ninja stars are there and I just couldn't get them from the angle I was at but I bet ya I bet you no everything's gone my game partner saying that her arrows all disappeared too so so some weird quirks in the game with clipping. Um, it's not an entirely like open world. You can't really break down anything. You can't break down walls or other types of things like that. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm still kind of out. Jury's kind of out on this game. Um, actually, yes, Jury's still out on the game. But yeah, something happened to the last part of my game footage. I was actually live streaming. Um, part of that game just because I want everyone to see the zombie horde and the wave and all that good stuff and For some reason when I stopped the live stream it actually Streamlabs OBS actually stopped recording my game as well even though it still showed as recording So I don't know I'm gonna have to figure out that because I went live within the Streamlabs platform So it should have worked as advertised, but it didn't so regardless um, Long video, but I want to show at least one full game game day of play um, to show you kind of the whole day you get to um, scavenge for stuff, build things, and then of course the big wave that starts at the very end of the day as well. So if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, Beefcake Lynch, I'm out.